Hey, what's up collectors? Jim here with another figure review and tonight I'm excited to be taking a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Wolverine. Now this is the throwback to the old Toy Biz days. It does come in this really cool packaging, which, you know, does kind of hit that nostalgic spot. This is pretty cool, even though I was more of a Super Friends, you know, uh, kid growing up. That's what I really, really remember most. But I do remember getting X-Men in this packaging so very cool wolverine i'm glad to pick this up because i do not have the original wolverine which this is basically the same figure but we do get different paints on it and we do get the head sculpt and the mask so very very cool um, i am going to open this up so we can take a closer look at the figure but uh, as you see it's just really cool how it just kind of has that old throw back of course we do have a little bit of a read up here it does have the image then of course you have the other figures in the wave kind of has a small little bubble on it too it's kind of funny but really cool packaging let's carefully open him up take him out and take a closer look okay and here he is all out of the packaging now if you got the old wolverine you pretty much know what you're going to get it's basically the same figure there is some differences um, between the brown color and the yellow. So this one I think actually looks a little bit better than the other one. Even though I don't have the one to compare it with, but I just from from seeing other people's pictures and reviews, definitely different colors. Um, now as far as this figure, I really don't like how the fact that the top of his head right here and his legs are like all different different shades of yellow really stands out I mean these two match up pretty good but this is definitely different and it stands out um, there is some looseness in some of the joints I've noticed his hands come off really easily just kinda you know messing around with them but I mean there is a lot of things that is good about this figure so I was, I was always kinda bummed that I never did pick him up in the first series so I'm glad to have him now especially that now that we're getting all these accessories with it um, the unmasked head and then you have his kind of like mask accessory and I think it looks really good now taking a closer look at the uh, unmasked head you know it's not bad for what it is it's got a nice little you know old man Wolverine look to it you know a little bit of a uh, five o'clock shadow nice sculpt on the hair and sideburns nice clean uh, blue blue paint, blue eyes so I mean I think it looks awesome. Really nice head sculpt. Really nice hair sculpt. So I mean it's definitely a plus to get with this figure. And then of course you do get the other accessory of the mask. Like he pulled it off his head. And that's cool. You know. And it you know, looks good. It fits on him well. A little bit sloppy with the paint. But you know for what it is it's not bad at all. So I do like that. And then of course taking a look at the Wolverine. You know, it's good. This was a decent Wolverine figure for being a Marvel Legends, you know. Uh, we get really nice movement with these butterfly joints, so that's awesome. And of course, he's kind of like a nice, short, stocky height and will fit and go with the other Marvel Legends. Uh, we do have the floating red belt, which they tried to paint the buckle, but they kind of missed the mark on that. But we do even get some, you know, painted on hair on his arms, so that's awesome. And of course we do have the claws, which are a better kind of gray silver color than the last ones. But of course they're, you know, normal Hasbro where it's just all kind of warped and just looking silly. You kind of have to heat them up to get them where you want them to be and how to, how, you know, how do you want them to look. The boots look good. I really like how they have like a little bit of sculpted wrinkles in there. Of course you get this black line that goes all the way down, so that's really cool bottom you got some treads a couple peg holes so yeah it's an awesome wolverine and even more awesome in these colors plus the accessories and of course you know you get that throwback packaging so really cool um, going over articulation you do get nice movement with the head the head kind of pops off pretty easily but you get really nice up really nice down of course you have swivel you got a little bit of pivot side to side and you can even kind of go forward and back on that ball joint 
And of course we got the really, really nice butterfly joints that go all the way back. That's awesome. Really nice forward. Of course you got the hinge and swivel so you can get pretty much horizontal. Swivels all the way around. You do have the bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Of course you have the swivel and hinge on the hands. You got the crunch which comes over really good. Goes back pretty good. You do have the swivel at the waist. Legs come out really well. Go forward, but kind of kick off at a little bit of an angle, but decent. Same same going back. You do have the thigh cut, double jointed knees. And then of course you do have the hinge for the foot, which brings it all the way down. Nice forward and rocker. So I mean, really, really cool Wolverine. I would say this one is probably even better than the first one. So if you definitely did not get the first one, this is definitely a must get, you know, for your collection because it's just awesome and you're getting more for the money. Um, he's a little bit under five and a half inches. And as far as some comparisons, here's uh, some other Marvel Legends, Netflix Daredevil and Deadpool, hopefully they will stand for me. And here's just a red Power Ranger. So that just gives you a little bit of comparison as far as what he will look like on the shelf. But yeah guys, that's the uh, new Hasbro Marvel Legends Wolverine figure in the throwback Toy Biz packaging. Really cool figure. Looks great. It's going to look good with your Marvel Legends. Uh, definitely thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next figure review. Take care.